August 2022. Five women officers of the Indian Navy's INAS 314 created history. They completed the first all women independent maritime reconnaissance and surveillance mission in the North Arabian Sea on board a Dornier 228 aircraft. The path-breaking military flying mission is expected to pave way for women officers in the aviation cadre to assume greater responsibility. Naval Air Enclave in Porbandar. This is where the history was scripted, and the crew that made history is with me. Thank you so much. I'm going to begin with you, Lieutenant Commander Archal Sharma. Uh, you were the one who led this crew, this mission. What was it like to lead a mission which is first of its kind? Well, first of all, uh, the MR surveillance that we're talking about here. Uh, I am part of INS 314, which serves as the eyes and ears of the uh, Navy at the uh, Western Seaboard. And leading a mission wherein all women were there, it is one of its kind, and it was the first which happened in the Indian Navy. It was no different, to be very honest, because we fly this mission on a daily basis, and we are all trained. Everybody has been instructed, trained rigorously by their instructors, and taking a mission on with all the women independently. was uh, no different this is happening in 75th year of india's independence was it special well i would say it is a coincidence that it is happening this year uh, we had uh, obviously we had a lesser number of women earlier and uh, the pilots recently joined us so we had the chance and the opportunity to make it this year and we are very, very happy that it is historic okay lieutenant shivangi your thoughts to be part of it and you and we often say that pilots have to take decisions in split second so uh, like uh, ma'am told uh, it was just a coincidence uh, we all have been flying uh, uh, in different missions we are, we all have been doing these kind of missions and we are all trained for it for uh, split second decisions like you told we we are trained regularly every day we have emergency sessions so that in case of an emergency we know how to and uh, like what to do in case of those emergencies so we are trained for that and we are prepared for any situation so that was this was no different sorty however uh, i think it will be uh, it will have a major impact on women who are uh, there in their villages who are aspiring uh, who want to join the defense forces and they uh, like when i joined defense forces uh, i had seen uh, in newspaper some about some lady officer from bihar so that gave me an inspiration who was your inspiration who is this lady officer from bihar I don't remember the name but uh, I always wanted to be a pilot uh, so during my childhood I uh, had the chance to uh, see a chopper landing in my village uh, there was a minister on board and that time it was very fascinating to see that a man is flying this big uh, you know aircraft that time I didn't even know that it's called a chopper so that was a, a very uh, you know inspiring moment for me and uh, that kind of stayed in my subconscious mind and uh, probably uh, it was one of the factors which uh, helped me join the forces and uh, then we had uh, some officers uh, visiting our college uh, naval officer had come he showed some presentation and uh, he told us that women ke liye they have opened this entry so again that was a golden opportunity for me i tried and fortunately i got through i'm going to ask you more on that because that's a fascinating story let me uh, apurva uh, again when we look at the journey of women and also the journey of india it's a special year for all of us 75th independence day okay so as mentioned earlier uh, left commander archer left shivangi it is definitely special but then honestly it wasn't planned it was just a coincidence that we had uh, both of us we had two pilots in the squadron we had amazing set of crew and we had been training on this uh, since a lot of time uh, not only on the ground but in air and one fascinating fact about going an all women crew was initially it was really weird in the cockpit wherein we had only female voices that stage was really empowering and before that we had been like self and left and shivangi we had been flying together just for the training of this sort but it was really amazing uh, now when i look back at this uh, young stage of seniority wherein i'm just few years 
uh, in the service it is really amazing to see how much we have grown so far uh, i think when i was a kid this concept of uh, gender bias or stereotype existed uh, now when i look back it's not there it just doesn't exist we are at par we are treated equal we are given equal opportunities in fact i think we are trusted more uh, and it was amazing and for uh, that the record that story that you're talking about so on 3rd of august 2022 Uh, what was the cock- cockpit story okay for us it was a normal vision uh, we were briefed you have to be all normal just go do your mission and come back initially while i was doing my externals i had butterflies in my stomach no doubt uh, in fact we have it before every sortie but this time it was something special because we knew once we are we are done with this mission we are going to have like every kid in india in different part of the country is going to look up to us Uh, so we have to make this as good as possible uh, it was a normal sortie so but so role model pressure that you know no, <laughs> from today there, onwards we'll be role models no there's no pressure but wherein uh, even you go in the cockpit the aircraft doesn't know if the person flying it is a male or a female you just have to be a pilot and you have to just like you said split decisions are very very important you never know when an emergency would come up so you have to be ready for every second not just the pilot but the observers it is a crew that goes ahead so uh, no role model pressure but yes we all had in our mind that we have to do good we just have to make this a success and come back and land that's it lepin puja what was the preparation like the technical support and uh, i'm listening to these stories and all of you say that it was just another sorty but it is history and 3rd of august 2022 will be remembered as five women who scripted history true ma'am as you know that it is a normal story because we undertake this mission on a regular basis and the technical support without these technical support this sorty will be incomplete so our technical team is also every time ready on their walls and they prepare everything very nicely and we undertake inspections routine inspection maintenance on regular basis so that even help the aircraft as well as crew is always mission ready we were trained in such a way from our instructors so that we are capable enough and we were always combat ready and now also if anyone ask us whether you are ready we are just ready to go for a sortie because we are trained in such a way such so in another 20 minutes if i say i mean if you are told not me saying it so if lieutenant commander here Archel tells you, just get onto the sortie. You'll be like ready for it. Yes, we all are. How, how much time does it take? Fifteen minutes. No, for <laughs> take off it really takes fifteen really minutes. Uh, but uh, for other preparation, we generally start one and half hour prior. We have to uh, take med briefing, like how the weather will be there in area, and then we have to take necessary clearance, ATC clearances. So we uh, complete all those things. We have to have our pre-flight meals. uh and that is like one major part of our mission we have to have <laughs> and then uh, we do our briefing we uh, whosoever senior is going with us or uh, we call our ceo or uh, uh, any other authorizing officer he comes he takes the briefing what are you going to do in the sortie and then we finally board the aircraft uh sub lieutenant shikavat this mission is being projected or you know said in the context of uh, the showcase event of nadi shakti in indian navy or and forces in general absolutely i want to uh, showcase it as a very empowering thing to do because as they all said that when we go to a mission each mission we look for fruitful results and when we come back with it there's a sense of satisfaction but this mission is absolutely special to me and to many others because there is an imaginary level of success which we call it as glass ceiling So I think by this mission we have br- broken the glass ceiling, and I hope we are a good example for many other aspirants who would be joining Defence Forces in the future. But don't you think that the moment you joined services, you broke the glass uh, sh- uh, ceiling, or are you of the opinion that shattering of the glass ceiling actually happened because of this mission? No. Uh, when we fly, we never flew an all-women crew, so the first time becomes a history. So that is why I am saying that. this time because of uh, the publicity or the media coverage maybe it will be the spread will be more so many people will be motivated by this so did you overcome some fear did you have some fear because it was all women crew i won't say there was a fear but uh, there's always a nervous excitement because uh, 
For example, if we take a, uh, talk about the sports person who are there in the Commonwealth Games, they have been practicing throughout the year, but they would still have that nervous excitement just on the day. So we also had that. And that's beautifully put actually, uh, to say that is nervous excitement. <laughs> Tell us about it. Well, uh, it is very rightly brought out by uh, Sablefan Shikhavit. She's saying it is nervous excitement because uh, before every mission, in fact, not this particular mission, before every mission, we have that excitement. We're going for a sortie. We are, very, we are operating from a forward operating air base. And it's very close to the adversary. So before every sortie, we have that excitement that we are going, we have to find something. This, because this is what we are enrolled for in the Indian Navy. In fact, we shouldn't miss something. Yeah. We, we are very we short. Miss Whatever happens, we don't <laughs> want to miss a thing. Because we are so close to the adversaries that we don't want to miss a single thing. This we really want helps to us. Get this excitement in. really helps us. This nervousness really helps us to get the result for the Indian Navy. So that is very important. I think that is a must before every sortie. So when you are on any mission, uh, every day is that sense that the entire country is watching you or is there that sense that you have to do it for your country, for the nation, you know, that sense, that josh that you keep talking about, that jazba. Uh, as rightly brought about by Sabrathan Shikhawar, there's a hierarchy. So when I fly, it starts with my squadron or it starts with the mission commander. So my sense of thing when I fly is my mission commander has to be satisfied with what I've got. The mission commander has it that my CEO has to be satisfied. The CEO has it that my uh, unit has to be satisfied and the unit, this is all a group that ensures that at the end the country is safe and we are doing our job on the best foot. Though new doors have opened up for women in the defence services, but I'm looking at the gender ratio. Uh, Navy, for example, has over 6.5% women officers and the situation in Indian Air Force and Army is no better. Do you feel that this is changing? This, uh, the statistic that you're talking about, it's uh, like recent statistic. Yes. Because we have recently started inducting women in all the three forces. So it is a very recent thing, but I think uh, now if you see in academy also, where uh, our first stage of training happens, if you see there, there are almost equal number of men and women, and now they have started entering NDA also, so that will bring uh, more number of women in the forces because the major chunk that comes into the forces, it is from NDA. Hmm. So those doors have uh, opened now. So I think this ratio, whatever you are we'll talking about, will get yes. better. And this year is really started from zero. Now we are at 6% and in future it will again double up or triple up. We don't you come back after we'll 10 years, it yes, will be, it will be a equal, drastic equal, change. Yeah. Oh my God. from zero is tough. But to grow... So women before you, you want to compliment them? Because Absolutely. they inspired you Absolutely. and then For sure. Because they were doing their job so well that we got a chance like uh, I, whosoever joined the Navy first, uh, since she was doing well, others got opportunity like uh, the Naval Air Operations Officer, they were doing so well still. So they thought that we can maybe uh, we can induct them and uh, let them sit in the cockpit also. So that is how pilots got inducted. So I think uh, as we do better and better, there will be more opportunities open for women. Yes. And uh, Lieutenant uh, Pooja, the Indian Navy is seeking to induct 20% women under the Agnivir entry scheme. Uh, and they will be posted on ships and establishment duties largely. How will that change military? You know, do you sense that that Agnivir recruitment will change military? Yes, for sure, because now as you yourself brought out that there were only 6% and with this induction, this ratio will increase and moreover now already there were women officers on board and I hope this uh, entry, sailors entry of women, of women into the Navy, it will increase the chances of women serving on board. And what about this entire point being made about women in combat roles? Well. Uh... Okay, honestly, when I joined forces, I chose Navy because Navy was the first service which was giving me combat role. So as a Naval Air Operations Officer, this was the only place where I could get a combat role. And as you can see, we're operating from a forward operating air base. So nothing better. So that is how I joined the forces. That was the motivation because uh, once you are into the services, you want to be having that role wherein uh, you can have uh, direct interaction or something like that with the adversary. That gives you that goosebump and that is what you know motivates you every day, gives you that josh. And Lieutenant Commander, since you have a family, 
are there challenges different from any man i think it's not just with the armed forces everywhere the women are able to handle both the roles i think we are built that way we can handle uh, whatever is given on our platter and uh, we are multitaskers i think we can manage everything well so let's talk about india and uh, how does it feel to serve armed forces so uh, you know if if you have you get that feeling that i am able to do something for my country this is the best place because here you are everyone is doing their part everyone is uh, uh, you know doing a job everyone is paying taxes that is how we are uh, running this nation so everyone is doing their part but then once you don this uniform and then you go for a sortie every day and looking out for your nation that gives a different sense of satisfaction and i think that feeling cannot be compared with anything else so if you if you have a little bit of patriotism in your uh, you know mind then i think this is the best place to start from i think everyone should join defense forces <laughs> training we are trained in such a way whatever you do do it to the fullest so when we are flying all our hearts and uh, eyes are on the mission when we are not flying so it's like work hard party harder or maybe work hard and party <laughs> so what is the nature of partying actually it's what uh, is kind of what is partying it's a, a very uh, since there is not much to do in porbandar so everyone here is uh, like well connected everyone is uh, they all have like all all the married officers they all us uh, they all invite us to our, their home for food because uh, we in living officers we we have to go to mess to have food so we generally bounce at their place so lieutenant puja when you came to know that you have been chosen as part of this first of its kind mission what was its thought what was your thought like i'm like uh, at that time i never expected that this is going to be such a wonderful and inspiring mission for others also it is just like as ma'am and everyone mentioned it is a normal mission for us but after landing when we have seen what the influence we have created that actually made a history and that we have actually made a history so that is the real inspiring then again i started uh i started getting messages and calls so you got calls who were the people who called you like uh, i got call from my like my colleagues uh, uh, and their uh, family members who want to join defense but they don't have any idea of how to go about it and all small experience to add on to this yesterday self and left in shivangi we are roommates we were just uh, scrolling scrolling through news and a, a thing popped up on um, google news and it was picture of five of us it was so overwhelming and heartwarming to see your own picture and the fact that now this you are news all is... over the social media i hope you all know that you are all over the social media instagram facebook twitter it's the five of you imagine the level of inspiration i just hope this becomes a good opportunity uh for the forces to increase the statistics which you just uh, stated earlier so i hope uh, we have a small share in it where in next time when you come and you visit us uh, maybe there will be a different set of crew and maybe not five but into five times uh, set of women officers so have you faced any such emergency uh i have had a bird hit um here so okay. uh, then we are aware of the actions we know what to do so we just did all our actions and landed safely and you told your parents after that bird hit uh, situation yeah they are actually uh, they are uh, they know that i can handle myself i can handle any situation so the fact that i have joined navy like they never questioned if you want to join or uh, don't join they didn't have any such opinion they were like oh, you want to do it you do it you seen top gun maverick <laughs> i and haven't got a chance yeah, to see it yet <laughs> of you, all of you have seen it <laughs> and so what was it like I have not seen it oh, yet. Not Maybe seen I'll it. see it so in my lifetime. So it is uh, it's actually a very top real. Gun. Yeah, it's very real and uh, that is probably one of the first movies that I saw that gave a uh, insight about uh, naval aviators life because generally it's all about flying is all about air force. Uh, we generally see air force in uh, like if you tell somebody from my village that I am like earlier I used to tell that I am a pilot in Indian Navy they won't they won't believe me. Because Indian Navy to, mein pilot kahan yeah, se aa gaya exactly <laughs> no, when so, i say i am in indian navy they ask me do you sail for 6 months yeah, yeah exactly fact, so when i say pilot this is the pilot of the ship like you're sitting in the wheel on the ship and you're rolling and after abni chaturvedi became the first woman fighter pilot uh, to fly solo there were a lot of talks of women in general do you think that was one of the turning points 
again the same thing because uh, this was uh, widely published i think that is one of the reason the awareness has increased the environment or the ecosystem has adapted or accepted the fact that women can go and the people are you know they are letting their daughters go that is one of the major thing i think the environment is also changing opportunities were always there but now with you know people performing better and something like that happening avni joining uh, air force i think uh, it has changed the mindset when people saw that there's one girl who's uh, joined she has become the first uh, fighter pilot i think that has changed uh, things drastically young women who've seen it now they inspire to become something like avni and i think that has changed the concept and i think it will further uh, you know develop that awareness amongst the young uh, people this will definitely increase the ratio which we are talking about <laughs> so let's go back to the ratio then uh, again if not navy then what would you have done lieutenant puja i'm already working at amazon but uh, i'm just once i'm going through all the news and all and i have seen that there is a uh, uh, there are uh, like uh, ssb and all navy there were openings and i just applied for it and for the first time i w- i'm not able to make it but once i went i stepped into ssb center and that that's the time when i decided if nothing else then i i will be in army or air force or navy whatever it may be so it inspired me up to that extent i'm i'm sure that not navy then i would have made into some other forces okay what about you sub lieutenant shikhavat yes uh I have done my mtech in biotechnology so probably I would have been a researcher I would have gone with my phd do you think that would have been little monotonous and boring this is I more exciting <laughs> i didn't use those words you did no i used to feel that maybe it will be boring so let's explore this is more exciting for me because we learn new things each day basically every day is a new day every day is different no day is same when you are in defense no, only... you might be expecting something it's going <laughs> to happen and something else happens and but you're still ready for it so and we face this no, but i will stand by on regular the easier day was yesterday yeah <laughs> then it becomes tougher <laughs> it always becomes tougher yeah and these challenges just make us a better version of ourselves we always face these challenges and when we look up into yesterday or look back then we were like more confident every day that okay we have gone through uh, gone through this and we were succeed it's not like it's and that is actually fruitful success okay so let's uh, start wrapping this conversation and i'm going to begin with you since you were leading this mission uh for you it was just another day but it made history and this is first of its kind there would be second third but a first is always a first i think uh, today we are all sitting here because it was first of its kind and we made history we are all proud of it our families are proud of it and i think uh, we must have inspired a lot of uh, women and we will see the seconds and the thirds and so many of these kinds now okay uh, lieutenant shivangi it's 75th year of india's independence uh, what do you think we should be talking about when india celebrates 100 years of independence like uh, you told the ratio that is going to increase many folds uh, we are we are doing better in every field if you see commonwealth games we are winning so many gold medals i think we we have never seen that uh, india is doing good in sports it is uh, like we have started inducting new women in nda so that has uh, changed our uh, everything has changed our uh, people are being encouraged to do startups sab left in shikavat uh, what do you think we should be talking about when india <laughs> celebrates 100 years of independence do you I think th- we'll have this conversation again all women for conversation yes many of probably you will see a, a fighter pilot in navy as well who will be landing on aircraft carriers so probably you'll see that yes let me puja your thoughts as brought up by everyone this will be this will be a major step and it it will not only inspire the only women it will inspire everyone every child in the nation so of course it is going to be a precious step i will say and i hope this conversation will actually help the people the from cities people are actually inspired they are well educated but when it comes to village and rural areas i hope this will reach up to them and they will also take a step towards their success and they will become independent so nowadays i just want not only a man or woman everyone should be independent enough to lead their life to make their own living thank you so much for sharing your stories and congratulations thanks for watching